Hey everybody, it's Ken over at Stand Up and Ride, and we are looking at the Cyclete homepage today. If you haven't seen this bike, it is amazing. And I have a special treat for everybody today. I am actually on the phone with the inventor of the Cyclete, Stephen Asher. Stephen, can you say hi to everybody? Hi, I'm Ken. Hi, everyone. All right, so pretty cool. So we're, we're, we're sitting here, Stephen, looking at your site, and the first thing I want people to see, and I'm rolling the video right now of the Cyclete in motion, and you have a red um, path, a green path, and then a blue path that represents the toe and the arch and the heel. Um, as your foot goes through this stride, it's kind of showing the teardrop motion that uh, the Cyclete provides to the rider, correct? Yeah, it's, it's so fun to share it with you. Yeah, and so so Stephen and I have talked for years, actually, um, since he first started this, and, and he's gone down the road with this bike, and he is now um, at the point where he is actually in production on these bikes, which is super exciting. And um, But, you know, the teardrop shape that this bike uh, makes is actually really unique, in the stand-up industry, it's a, it. Steve and I haven't ridden this bike, but you've ridden it quite a bit, correct? Well, of course. I mean, it's, it's yours. Been a twenty-year process, and uh, we started out making a, an elliptical product twenty years ago. Uh, so, actually, the first elliptical bike, and worked with the elliptical motion for a long time, trying to get it right, and uh -huh. then ultimately decided it was. You know, uh, a, a bit ponderous, and uh, wanted something that simulated more the fluid motion of running and had that kick uh, that a runner has, and and that ended up uh, culminating this, you know, teardrop motion, this patent pending motion, and uh, we're we're getting uh, rave reviews. You see it on our our group page, you know, the the Facebook site, uh, Facebook slash groups slash Cyclete. And we've got a few people riding, a fellow riding in France and Canada, and uh, everyone, universally, everyone that's tried it uh, has talked about how much more fluid and like running it is than any other, you know, stand-up product. Right. And and like I said, you and I have been talking for quite a while, and I'm still scrolling through the website as you uh, talk because the teardrop motion is really one huge benefit. But as we go through the website and look, um, you know, I'm looking at a picture of it on a on a bike rack, which is super convenient. You can tell just by looking at the components that you use. This is a high end bike. We have disc brakes on it. We have um, you you actually invented and and a lot of the well the, all of the platform is custom made, correct? Yeah, all, well, all the running gear is custom made. It's a CNC, you know, right here in California. And so, but we also try to build this on tried and true uh, technologies as well. So while it uses regular cranks, you know, we have the short crank in the front and the rear crank in back. Right. Uh, so it's the only system that has two cranks and they're synchronized with a belt drive from Gates. Uh, that provide sort of the benefits of the short crank, you know, the, the low impact to the knee, and then the long stride providing the kick and back. In addition to the, the teardrop motion, which people may not recognize, is not only does it have this motion, but it has this acceleration curve. So it, it, unlike an elliptical that slows down at the top and at the back, the teardrop, uh, you accelerate through the back, so it's more like a kick more like running and that's what gives it this fluidity that people talk about okay yeah and I've, I've watched the videos on this thing I'm dying to get out to California and ride that or uh, I can't wait to have <laughs> you come out and try have, it. have you come out to Colorado and show me what's up but um, no this, this thing looks just great and and uh, one thing that you don't uh, notice about this bike when you just look at it and I want to find the picture this is a big bike and, and that was one of the things that I, I just loved about this. Being a mountain biker, I love the huge tires. These are 30s, right? These are actually uh, 30.4 inches. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're, it's an enormous product. People don't realize it until they stand next to it. 
It's certainly the largest production mountain bike ever made. Yeah. Uh, it has the same 54-inch wheelbase as the elliptical, okay. but with these, you know, huge tires. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's it's big in scale. You don't realize it until you get on it. At yeah. the same time, though, it has the super low step-over and the sort of ground clearance that you'd get on a mountain bike. So, uh, you know, you've got that spread. It's easy to get on and off. Right. Uh, and, and super stable. Yeah, I can only imagine. Yeah, so I'm looking at the website. So this is you out in the field with it, and you can tell how big this bike is. I also was looking at the uh, comparative. It looks like that's a, a 20-inch wheel on the second page um, next to the bigger one. Uh, yeah, on the future, that's actually a 20-inch wheel off of, uh, well, you can guess what it may be from, but yeah. it's what's typically used on, on these other products. Yeah, and so, and when you say step over, so people don't understand, and what, so with a 20-inch tire, that keeps you a little bit lower to the ground, and so the step over is not big, but what you're telling me is there's a 30-inch tire on this, and the step over, I'm getting to a picture that's going to kind of represent this. Um, it's easy to get on and off, is basically um, what what we're talking about. I mean, this uh, this guy here is not very old. We got the saddlebags on it. I'm looking at the purple cyclete in front of the uh, rocks, and you can tell the step over is below his knee, which uh, makes it very easy to get on and off this bike. We talked. You talked a little bit about the um, the belt drive, which fascinates me to sync the two together because this. The, the drive on this works like nothing else out there. It's really, really unique and, and, and innovative, I think. Yeah, well, the innovation comes in the teardrop motion and uh, the support you have through the whole foot. And you'll notice in the, the uh, animation how the roller moves from the front to the back at the same time that your toe would hit the, the front or your heel would hit in the back. So uh, you get that support, but then the drivetrain becomes traditional in that it has uh, the SRAM 1x12 uh, derailleur, uh, and uh, you get this 500% range with an easy shifting uh, derailleur system for the top end of you know the SRAM offering. This and pretty commonplace on the, the mountain paths you know here around my home. Yeah. So there's innovation mixed with, you know, off the shelf components. Well, I I love it. I'm I'm super excited. Like I said, you know, this has been in the works for a long, long time. This is not the first uh bike that, that Steven has invented and built. He's done this a couple of times, haven't you? Sure. Well there was the Luca bike back in uh, twenty years ago. Uh huh. She designed awards in Munich and, and then you've got the biker go that uh people have enjoyed is sort of an upright bike with an air-filled seat. Uh, so it's a, it's a passion. It's a uh, uh, an addiction, maybe. You know, just this, this uh, well, yeah, you know, we've, I've got a museum of these things that, <laughs> you know, created over the years. But this product, I think, has uh, really uh, got some uh, legs to it. Uh, people are, are loving it. And uh, it's, it's exciting to be in a place where uh, we really are in, uh, you know, production, small, small numbers. It's all made in Northern California. Uh, the frame's made by Ventana Mountain Bikes off in Rancho Cordova. All the CNC pieces are made uh, right here in Hayward. And uh, uh, it's, it, they all come together. They're all assembled right next to my office where I designed the work. So well, that's fantastic. Uh, places anymore where you get a product that's assembled by the same person that designed it. And that's a lot of fun. What's really fun is to, to talk to each person that, you know, has uh, purchased one of these and learn of, you know, what their own needs are and, and to see the smile on their face when, you know, they get on it and ride it for the first time. Oh, yeah. Well, and I'm like I said, I'm really excited, and we're going to um, we're going to direct people over to your website, which is uh, cyclete.com. You are taking orders at this point. I was just over on the uh, page of your website that says order it now. They can certainly reach out to you uh, through the website with questions if they have them, um, and uh, obviously, you and I are going to get together real soon and ride. Correct. I can't wait. Okay. <laughs> right. I so appreciate. 
appreciate your taking time to do this interview. Uh, it's my first public interview, so that's, that's great. And to, to help get the word out, because I, I find people uh, looking for something that has, you know, lower impact on their knees or gives them this fluidity or a way to enhance, you know, their running regimen. And uh, love to be able to get the word out. And so you're doing this as a big help to me. So uh, I really appreciate your, your taking time to do that. Uh, you've always been uh, so, you know, gracious and generous with your time and this whole, you know, stand-up community. So I uh, re really appreciate your taking time to help me get the word out. Well, I appreciate you uh, being here with me today. And um, so uh, you guys, go to the website, check it out, check out his videos, um, all, you know, just, just everything. This thing is super cool and I know I know a few of the people that have ridden them and these guys have been in the industry for a long time ha have come back with some really really great things to say about this and so I am um, I'm looking forward to riding it myself but until then I'm just gonna have to admire the pictures and uh, talk a little bit more about it so reach out to Stephen if you have questions go hit up his website once again, cycleet.com. Uh, Stephen, best of luck. We're not done uh, talking. We're going to do more videos like this, and we're going to talk a lot more about your product, uh, especially after I get my feet on it. And uh, so until we, until we talk to you again, um, again, thanks for being here, and we'll talk at you next time. Thank you, Ken. All right. See you, Stephen. All right, you guys. Hopefully Bye. this helps, and uh, we will definitely see you guys on the next one.